Hello, everyone. Thank you, Michael, for joining us today. We'll take questions for Michael using the raised hand function. Um, we'll open it up to questions for Trevor is your first question. Hey, Michael, thank you for doing this. So obviously, we, it was just unprecedented, right, with you having the ability to come back this year. Um, now that you are here and you have this opportunity to be back at ASU, what do you just look to do? How do you hope to maximize this year in front of you? Yeah, super thankful to be back. And uh, honestly, with how crazy things have been with COVID and lockdowns and all that other other things going on in the country, um, my, myself and the team, we're kind of just looking forward to Lord willing, win a championship. And I think that'd be a special year to do it. So I'm um, really just focused on that. And then as far as pun my individual punting uh, performance, um, just try to get better every day and whatever's meant to happen will happen. But I'm excited for the season to start. Jacob. Hey, Michael, can you do me a favor and describe for me the process of what it was like, you know, through the draft? You obviously, you got the combine, you did well there. Uh, draft doesn't necessarily go how you were looking for it to go. What was the process like of getting the waiver to come back to school? Yeah, um, well, the process was about a month long from when I first decided that's what I was going to do. And really, uh, Justin Pohl now from Compliance couldn't have been, could not have been better in terms of his help uh, for me and how, how much he was just trying to um, facilitate my communication with the NCAA it was really, really good. So um, the process was just, yeah, about a month long. I had to write like a paper. Um, I had to give detailed reasons why uh, it, it, I deserved to um, get a hardship uh, for my, for my uh, eligibility to come back. So really it was just in their hands and I was praying about it and thankfully, um, yeah, they let me come back, but it was about a month long process of back and forth communication with the NCAA. Jeff. Yeah. When, when you add this latest saga onto your entire journey, it, it's pretty amazing from start to finish. How do you, how do you just sort of process everything that's happened to, to where you are now? Yeah, I would say, um, and the guys in the team know this, a leader like our team Bible study as well. I really look to, I love the scriptures. Um, and there's a proverb I like, it says, man plans his way in his heart, but the Lord determines his steps. So I know for sure, like ever since I've been on the straight path and, and doing things um, the right the right way and having faith in God, I know that it's going to work out how it's supposed to. So I don't know, tomorrow's not even promised, right? So at this point, nothing would surprise me uh, in my journey. I, I just know to trust in God and keep working hard and, um, Whatever's meant, meant to happen next is going to happen. So, Trevor. Uh, yesterday, Coach Slocum talked about just your improvements, and he said you were sort of vastly improved just in the last couple months that he's seen you, kind of noted how you were a young punter coming out of high school. Um, just what would you say are your biggest improvements to this point, and what kind of helped you achieve that? Well, I appreciate him saying that. I think I'll try to be improving until the day I'm done punting because there's always room uh, for improvement. But... Um, I guess just being more deliberate in my approach. Last year was my second season playing and um, really nothing new in terms of any, no new revelations about punting, but just reinforcing what I already knew. So just trying to be um, compact with my steps and um, you know, being a professional, more, more professional. So make it look easy. And those are some things I worked on the off season, just having um, a consistent approach to the ball and being able to get the job done every time. Jacob. Michael, what's it been like for you to work with Logan Tyler? Because I know that he initially came here anticipating that you were not going to be back. And then when you came back, it kind of gave you guys this super duo of, of, of punters. So what, what's that been like for you? Oh, it's been great. All the guys, um, we get along very well. And Logan's a great guy, great athlete. And so um, him and Slocum have talked about just the dynamics and what he wants us working on. So, um, but Logan's a good friend of mine now and um, it's been good working with him. Hey. Michael, in your draft process and talking with NFL teams, what was the feedback that they gave you and, and what was the one thing that you came back to ASU knowing that you wanted to improve upon the most? Mm -hmm. um, I'd say directional punting and just consistency the biggest things probably yeah when you think back about the decision to, to go out after last season did do you I don't know if regret's the right word but do, do you still think that was the right decision at the time 
Well, yes, um, because I, it wasn't just it wasn't hasty in terms of me just you know making it in one day. I really did pray about it and think about it, and um, talked about it with my uncle who played a long time and weighed the pros and cons. And so um, obviously it didn't go how I thought it was supposed to go, but I know it went exactly how it was meant to. And also I'm thankful to God and for this staff for bringing me back because I, it was helpful in terms of me becoming a better punter. I think the fact that I was able to do that um, did kind of uh, teach me some new things about punting and teach me some new things about myself that will, um, that helps me prepare better for this season. So I definitely got a lot of good out of it. And um and yeah, we'll see. I'm, I'm just thankful to be back, honestly, though. So um, it was a little bit, um, a little bit crazy, because I was thinking after the after the draft, you know, oh man, you know, there's a, there's a very real possibility I might never punt in a game again. You know, obviously I was going to continue to train and be a free agent and try to make a team, but that was a pretty uh, good reality check, pretty humbling. And so um, I was thankful for the experience and um, thankful to be back. Any other questions for Michael? Jacob. Uh, Michael, we, we've heard that there's been competition as far as who's going to end up returning kicks and punts go. Who who has been out there and kind of what have you observed as, as who's done the best job in that role? Mm. Yeah, there's been a few good athletes back there. I think Jack um, still is the primary guy. But really, that's that's been Coach Slocum's call. I, I can't really uh, – I can't tell who's who's doing the best. Honestly, they're all pretty good because Coach Slocum really puts a big emphasis on that and catch the ball moving forward, all that. So they all take it super serious, and I don't really see them making many errors. So uh, we'll see though when it comes comes to the season. Uh, Coach Slocum will have to make the call.